Hello, my friends. In this class now, let's now discuss dimension analysis. Now, what's dimension analysis? Dimension analysis is uh, just a simple way of getting the unit of physical quantities. When we get the unit of physical quantities, we are saying to do what to call what dimension. It is just a way to show the unit of physical quantities. Now, in our first class, we explain what are physical quantities. We said that physical quantities are quantities that can be expressed in terms of mass, length, and time, or quantities that can be measured. Any quantity that can be measured is called a what a physical quantity. Do you understand? I will talk about your physical quantities right that your fundamental derived. So, but take note that dimension analysis uses some physical quantities, which are mass, length, time, temperature, and current. If you watch, all of them are your fundamental quantities. Are you seeing that? So it makes use of uh, dimension shows the unit of physical quantities. It uses mass, it uses length, it uses time, it uses what temperature. Now take note that there are two types of dimension. We have what we call quantities that have dimension. Those ones are called your dimension quantities. These are quantities that can be expressed in dimension. They are plenty. Any quantity we can express in terms of dimension is called a dimension quantity. Are you seeing that? But any quantity that we cannot express in dimension is called a dimensionless quantity. So what's a dimensionless quantity? A dimensionless quantity are quantities that cannot be expressed in dimension. It is strain. Now, let me prove this to you for you. Why are strains said to be dimensionless? What was formula for strain? Strain is equal to extension over length. Extension is in meter. Length is in meter. Meter comes to meter. So no units. What about coefficient of friction mu? Coefficient of friction mu is giving us force all over what reaction. Force is in Newton. Reaction is in Newton. Newton comes to Newton. No units. What about relative uh, density? Relative density, you talk about uh, density, it's just like density in air all over density in glass. Are you seeing that? And the density, the dimension you are going to get for density is what you are going to get for this. So both of them will cancel and it to be what dimensionless. Are you seeing that? So dimension quantity are quantities that don't have units. So any unit, any um, unit or quantity that cannot be expressed in dimension are said to be called dimensionless. Do you understand? Now in this class, now let's now focus on all the dimension con questions they have ever asked. All past questions on dimension. In this aspect, we are focused on jam questions. Are you with me? But you touch all areas. Let's see the first question. What was the dimension for speed? Now, speed. Dimension for speed is giving us speed. First of all, what is the formula for speed? Speed is giving us distance all over time. And distance is measured in meters. So distance is measured in meters which is meter all over seconds. Are you seeing that? Now, this meter, which is length, is giving us L. Time here is giving us T. So for law of indices, now this is L T raised to power minus one. So this is the dimension. Where L is length, Le we'll talk about uh, uh, length. Now length is measured in meter and time there is your what? It's your second. Do you understand? So let's now do dimension for your what? for your velocity. Now, what is between velocity and speed? Velocity is a, a speed is a scalar quantity while velocity is a vector quantity. Both of them are the same thing. But what is formula for velocity? Velocity is given as displacement all over time. And what is displacement? It is length. Are you seeing that? So that's length all of our worst time, time is t. So if you do that in indices, that will still give me lt raised to power minus 1. You can see that velocity and, this, and speed have the same word dimension, lt word minus 1. Do you understand? We are here, there is a length. Are you seeing that? Well, we can also say that this is simply as meter per second, right? Meter per second, the meter, the m there is meter. And that's length, L, and time there is T, so LT minus 1. So you can also say that, okay? Now, let's see another question. What is the dimension for acceleration? First of all, 
your acceleration is equal to velocity all over time. And we should know that velocity, we've done velocity, what's velocity? Velocity is ms minus 1. That's length, that's distance of displacement over time, right? So this will be ms minus 1 all over s. So this will give it, m there is, we talk about ms minus 1, that's velocity. So if you do this very well, this will be what? M x minus 2. Now, what is m? A? m is length, which is what? L. What is s time? That's lt minus. Are you saying that m s minus 1 or the same thing as m? There is meter, and meter is length. Don't, differ, don't confuse meter and what? Mass, which is kilogram. Now, let's take another question. The question say, and it's even a jam question. What's dimension? Jam 98 is 4 question. What's the dimension of force? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. Right? Mass and acceleration. So this time you force on that because to mass here will give me as capital letter M. Acceleration was what we did acceleration just now that's L T minus two. This is the dimension. Why if you want to represent the unit mass is in kilogram, that's kilogram mass is kilogram acceleration is meter per second minus two. So that's the unit for this dimension. Do you understand that? Now, quickly, let's take another question. The question is, what's the dimension for work and energy? First of all, work and energy have the same dimension. Okay? Because work and energy are same thing. Just that one is a scalar, one is scalar, the other is what vector. So any of them will write, let's say work, and that's a jam question 2016. Work. What formula for work? Work is first times distance. Now we have done what's uh, force. Force is mass times acceleration. Distance is your distance now, which is your I can say L. So this is mass now. So in dimension that will give me m. Right? Acceleration is L T minus two. Is that correct? Times L. Now in this is this is one, this is one. So that will give me what? M L to T minus two. That's ML to T minus two. Option C. ML to T minus two. Now, if you want to in unit, probably be in unit. M there is kilogram, right? L there is meter, meter square. T there is time. That's S minus two. So this is unit. This is for what dimension? Do you understand the that? So know how to play in between them. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right, as far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move, let's get back to class. Enjoy. We're also giving another question. What's the dimension for density? What's density? Density is given as mass all over volume, right? Mass in dimension is capital letter N. What's volume? Volume is L times length times okay the bottom is length times length times length that will give me m all over l cube if you put that in dimension that will give me m l minus three are you seeing that m l minus three m l minus three that's dimension m l minus three making option d now what will be the unit f m there is mass i mean which is kilogram l there is what length which is meter minus three are you seeing that? Quickly, let's go to the next question. That's very fast. What's the dimension for momentum? We are solving everything, everything. All that this is all about dimension in physics. So if you can know all of them, you are done with dimension. Do you understand that? Now, a question is what is formula for momentum? Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Please take note of that formula. Now, what's Dimension for mass. Dimension for mass is m. What's velocity? Velocity is 
LT minus 1. Is that correct? So if you combine that, that will give me what? M L T minus 1. Are you seeing that? In terms of units, what will it be? Mass is in kilogram, right? Uh, length is in what? Meter. Time is in second. That's M L. This is the kilogram meter per second. Kilogram meter per what? seconds. Do you understand that? Quickly, let's take question 8. Jam 2019 question 2. Jam 1987 question 1. What's the mention for impulse? Now, take me what? First of all, what's the formula for impulse? Impulse is giving us force times time. Are you seeing that impulse is equal to force times time? Now, what's force? Force is mass times acceleration. So, times time now. This is mass is capital letter M. Acceleration is LT minus 2 times time is T. Is that correct? So, this will practically give me M. L. This is 2. This is T minus 2. This is T1. That become minus two plus one. That's from indices, right? So that will give me what minus one. That will give me L T. That's M L T raised to power what minus one. And if you check that very well, M L T minus one. That's option B. Do you observe that impulse and momentum have the same formula? If you check momentum, just the just and this is the formula. This is the dimension, right? Now, so why is that so? Remember that Newton's law says that impulse is equal to momentum. That's F T is equal to what M V. Is what called Newton law. This is impulse. This is what momentum. Are you saying that impulse equal to what momentum? And that's practical. That what you want to present in units. What's mass? Mass is in kilogram. What's length? Length is in meter. What's time? Seconds. I mean, so any of them about that quickly. Let's still move. I hope you are following me. Hope you are not lost. Twenty eighteen question thirteen. Which of the following is the dimension for pressure? What's pressure? Pressure is equal to force all over area. Now, what's force? Force is mass times acceleration. What's area? Area is length times breadth. Are you seeing that? But in physics, breadth is in there as length. Because both of them are breadth is meter, length is meter, so length times length. So this in acceleration now, that's this is mass, that's capital letter M. Acceleration is LT minus 2. All over here will be L squared. In dimension and that will become what m now this is two this is one so that become in dimension and divide that's one division means minus two that will be equal to minus one so that will be m l minus one t raised to power minus two m l minus one m l minus one that's option what a m l minus one t minus two but if you want to put it in unit was uh, mass mass is kilogram was length length is meter minus one was time seconds minus two that's for units but that's for what dimension now let's see the next question the question is what's the dimension for moment moment is also called talk sometimes there's a bunny talk question but it's called talk now what formula for moment or talk moment is equal to force times distance moment is equal to force times distance now, what's force? Force is mass times acceleration. Distance is L. So, in dimension, now what's mass? Capital letter M. Acceleration is LT minus 2 times L. Are you seeing that? And that will practically give me M. This is 1 here. This is 1 here. That will be 2. ML to T raised to power what? minus 2. In unit, what will it be? Unit M is kilogram a bit. What's length? Length is meter squared. What's time? S minus 2. So that's what it will be in that dimension for what movement. I, I hope you are following me. Quickly, let's go. Which of the following is the dimension for young modulus? What formula for young modulus? Why? Young modulus is giving you a stress all over strain. This is under elasticity, right? Now, what stress does force all over area, all over what strain extension over length? Are you seeing that? So, this is in that same force over area divided by extension over length. That will give me force over area times length all over what extension. So, why, first of all, give me what's force? Force is mass times.
times acceleration times length all over area here will give me l square times extension is also length now this will give me let's put it in dimension this will give me mass there is capital letter and acceleration there is lt minus 2. a b acceleration is lt minus 2 times my l here all over this will give me what l square times l first of all this l can cancel this l right because both of them are l l so l cancel l what am i going to have this now practically give me m now this is one here this is two that become dot indices that will be one minus two what's one minus two minus one so that will be m l minus one t raised to power minus two and if you want to put that in units that will give me m there is kilogram L there is meter minus two times there is S minus two. Are you seeing that? I hope you are following the class. Anyone you don't understand, you can pause it, you can click it backward and go back. Which of the following is dimension for surface area? What formula for surface area? Now, surface area is equal to force all over distance. Please take note of that. And what's the force there? Take note that the first surface area is solar distance. The force there will give me mass times acceleration. Distance will be L. What's mass? Capital letter M. Acceleration is LT minus 2. Distance there will give me L. So indices, that will give me this L will also M. That would be equal to what? MT minus 2. MT minus that's option B. Why? What will it be? Unit M mass is kilogram T is seconds, right? Minus. Are you seeing that? MT was minus two. Now let's take the next question. The question: See, what's the dimension for electromotive force? Now we're going to take this one from the next class, so that the class will not be too long, so that you're able to sit down and understand and process it. So I will continue this in the next class. Please ensure to follow me. I'll see you in that class. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.